Well, hi, I'm the guy that does the Yellow Post, loves spending time talking and challenging atheists, bringing them better knowledge about what the Bible, history, archaeology, science, uh, the uniqueness of the Bible so that it can help them make better decisions. I'm all over Facebook, and I love talking to atheists. I mean to defend the unicorn today, and that's just an amazing thing to say, right? Because the first thing you think of when you see the word unicorn is you're thinking of Disney and the flying horse. But unfortunately, the Hebrew word for unicorn translated unicorn literally means uni, one horn, a one horn animal. Lots of people point to the rhinoceros, which is a possibility. But Elas Monotherium Sibericum, Sibericum, sometimes referred to as the Siberian unicorn, had a horn likely multiple feet long. Only partial remains have been found. It looked more like a rhinoceros than a horse weighing about 9,000 pounds. It was thought to have been extinct, but dating of a fossil found in Kaziristan has recently proven a unicorn was still alive according to evolution and science 2,900 years ago. The research was published in the American Journal of Applied Sciences by a scientist um, that teaches in a university in Russia. What does that tell us? That tells us that a one horn animal, which is exactly what a modern translation of the Hebrew word means, was a historical fact. I mean, I've been telling atheists that for years. I mean, the Latin word for the rhinoceros ends with the word unicorn. Look it up. So can we as Christians believe that a unicorn, a one horn animal, is biblically and geologically, or I should say biologically sound? Absolutely, because in a museum today is sitting that very unicorn fossil. Anyway, let's do again the Yellow Post.